Hey, it's Sean with iWashYouDried.com and today we're gonna to be making my easy cheeseburger pasta skillet. Now this skillet comes together in less than 30 minutes, so let's get going. We're just using a half an onion for this recipe. Now this cheeseburger pasta skillet is a recipe that reminds me of my childhood because it's something that my dad used to make all the time but it started with a box mix. <laughs> this is just a homemade version that um, you can make from scratch and feel really good about it. I still love your version though, Dad. Okay, now that we have our onion diced up, we're gonna use one pound of ground beef and we're gonna add this to a, a skillet as well as our onion. And I'm gonna use uh, two teaspoons of garlic powder here. If you have fresh garlic and you want to use that, go for it. I just like to sometimes use the garlic powder because it just, it's a little bit quicker. So now we're going to brown our hamburger and onions in the skillet until it is uh, nice and browned and no longer pink. So now that our ground beef is nice and browned, no longer pink, I'm going to scoot the ground beef to one side and then you can carefully tilt it to see all of that fat run down and then grab some paper towels. This is my little trick here. Grab some paper towels and we're just going to go ahead and lay that in there and then use some tongs so you don't get your hands in the hot grease and soak that up. And then you can just pick this up toss it in the garbage, and you're ready for the next step. Okay, so to our ground beef mixture, we're going to add three tablespoons of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of paprika, and then we're just gonna go ahead and cook this until the mixture becomes thickened, and it should only take about a minute. Okay, now that the flour mixture has cooked, I'm gonna add in a quarter cup of dry sherry, um, if you don't have dry sherry, you can also use just a quarter cup of beef broth. And this, we're gonna cook and scrape the bottom of our pan to get up all of those brown bits. And once it's evaporated, then we're gonna add in three cups of beef broth, just a little at a time here. Keep scraping the bottom of that pan to get all that flavor off. It's going to be delicious. Next, we're gonna add one cup of milk. The milk helps add in that creamy deliciousness for the sauce. You'll see it at the end, it's amazing. One and a half teaspoons of salt and half a teaspoon of black pepper. Now that our mixture has come to a little bit of a simmer here, I'm gonna go ahead and add two cups of rotini pasta. Just stir this in. We're going to cover and leave the lid slightly ajar and let it cook for about 18 minutes until the pasta is nice and tender. All right, now that our pasta has simmered and is cooked nice and tender, just give it a little stir here. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and add in two cups of sharp cheddar cheese. The reason I like using sharp cheddar is because it has a nice bite to it. It also melts in quite nicely with the hamburger and the pasta. So you're just gonna add that directly into the pan and then stir it until the cheese is nice and incorporated. Nice and saucy, cheesy, it's all of the flavors of a cheeseburger in a pasta dish. It's all made in just one pan. What is not to love about this? There's tons of options and variations you can do here. You can add a lot of nice garnishes, some diced tomato, some even, even some chopped pickle. Trust me, I know that sounds a little bizarre, but it really would give it some nice flavor and a pop of color too. I'm gonna add a little bit of freshly chopped parsley on top just to give it a little bit more color and freshness. How great does that look, you guys? 
I am confident you guys are going to love this. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Get a little bit of noodles and ground beef in that cheesy, creamy sauce. Still a little hot. Mm. Mm. Wow, if this doesn't scream childhood to you, I mean, what does? <laughs> this is so good. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe and don't forget to head to iwashydry.com to find more one skillet easy recipes just like this one. And I will see you guys next time. Mm.